So, I'm going to show you how to make halftones uh, inside of Inkscape. So, you can do this kind of effect, but also this, or even this. So, let's get started. First, hide this and create a new layer. Layer 1, okay. Um, after that, you can create a rectangle and uh, we'll just give it random color and in fill and stroke effect uh, panel uh, give it uh, this um, for now this is okay but we can tweak this later so let's make it slightly smaller okay after that you need to open filter filter effector uh, we can delete this old effect Remove and try with new ones. So, first give it a name and enable it. It will show nothing because there is nothing inside of this filter. So, first we need to add image we want to convert. So, choose image and add it. And after that, choose your file. And after that, you can see it's here. Um, okay, so now we need to convert it to the alpha. So we can do that with the color matrix and add effect and switch from matrix to luminance to alpha. And as always, do it invert, invert it. So we need to invert it back. So add another color matrix and just type minus one and here one. This will, this will invert to alpha. So, uh, just to know what is happening, basically we converted the image to just black and white and alpha. Okay, now we can adjust how big it is, and so we don't have a black lines on the sides. Right. Okay, so now we want to composite this with our pattern. If you remember, this is our pattern and this is our image. We want to composite the two together. So first add composite filter and after that in the first slot is coming this uh, converted image and into second slot it's coming our pattern. So that's fairly easy. You can see it's almost doing what we want. Now we need to just switch it from over to in and we can start playing with the size of the dots. Let's say this is okay for now. So then we need to add a Gaussian blur and blur it just a little bit, like 1% is totally fine. And after that we need to crush the alpha. So we can do that with the composite transfer add it as an effect, go to alpha and change it to gamma and now we can start playing with it. So we can crank this all the way up and try to push exponent until we have a, until we converted our big dots to small dots, like, let's say like this, okay, we can play with the size, just make it a little smaller with the node tool and we can also play with the Gaussian blur, so less, more, we can add like a little bit more, and okay, so this looks fine, but we need to crush it even more, so I just, just duplicate this layer and it will convert it to the dots and crush it even, even more, let's say like this and maybe a little bit of offset right okay so this is fine so this is the base effect you can play with the gaussian to blend it more and with the these sliders to achieve the effect you want but you can also add a different kind of pattern so go to fill and change it to i think really cool one is the wavy and after that you need to play with the size of this pattern and also we can rotate it by dragging it here and basically this all depends on the 
your specific of your specific image all this kind of stuff is tweak blue until you like it right this looks nice so you could stop here or you could um, you could go to preferences and change the go to import image and change your export to like 300 dpi and after that select your image go to edit make a bitmap copy this will basically uh, convert it to the bitmap and after that you can see it's still raster image and we can convert it back to the vector by going to path and trace the bitmap bitmap you can like play with this let's say 0.6 update looks good and now now we have the vector of the of this path you see it's it's a vector so yeah you can play with that you can also use uh, custom patterns so basically uh, to have a more classic half tones i would do something like this create the rectangle give it the non color create the square uh, circle <laughs> and give it a black color now you can select both of them and align them so let me close this and let me align them by clicking this and this so now we have a circle with the padding let's make it a little bigger right and now we can group it by ctrl g and go to object pattern and object to pattern so now we don't need this we can basically delete it and go here and just select pattern we just created which is i think it's this one or yeah it's it's this one no 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 it's this one definitely this one yep and now we can again tweak the size so go here and make it smaller and we can also rotate it and this is more of the classical half tone style and again we should play with the gaussian blur so maybe make it a little maybe bigger yeah and like let's try and play with these settings and yeah we have half tone inside inkscape <laughs> looks cool right did you know you can subscribe to me or do whatever i don't care <laughs>